If you were to ask a child 10 years ago what kind of career they wanted to pursue in the future, most would have ended up saying, I want to be an astronaut, or a doctor, or a firefighter, or a police officer. But as the internet continues to grow in popularity by the second, new opportunities start to open up virtually, and the answer to that question starts to become more unique. And now, if you were to ask a child today what they wanted to be when they grow up, the number one answer that you'll find is a YouTuber. Now, I myself am not a successful YouTuber. The most success I've gotten is uploading a video that reached over 1.2 million views, earning me over 3.5 thousand subscribers. Before the video had to be taken down for complicated reasons, but let's just say it was due to copyright. So today, with the knowledge that I have from other YouTubers' experiences, as well as my own, I want to talk about what YouTube is like as a career and whether or not you should pursue it. Now when it comes to other digitally based careers out there like computer programmers, it's a really hard road to take in order to gain a good amount of success through these careers because they require a great amount of skill. So that leaves another world of options for a career, one that takes less skill in comparison. Virtual content creators, such as streamers, vloggers, YouTubers, these are all supposedly easy career options because anyone can take the path to these opportunities with little equipment or experience. But a career usually involves some sort of way to make money, where's the paycheck? Well, there are various different ways someone can earn money from these different activities of online content creation. One method is through placing advertisements or sponsorships on videos that you upload. This is where sites such as YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, or even Instagram and TikTok come in. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to talk about the most popular site among these, YouTube. Let's talk more about making money from YouTube, because that's one of the most commonly asked questions regarding YouTubing. The main source of income for YouTubers is through advertisements and sponsorships. A basic explanation for how it works is that a company will pay YouTube to post their advertisements on the website, and then YouTube will pay a portion of that money to the content creator that is showing those advertisements. A channel also needs to acquire a certain number of subscribers and public watch time before they can be approved to post ads and then start to earn money. For anyone that has spent any time watching videos on YouTube at all, you'll see those advertisements pop up before a video starts. As for how much money a YouTuber makes, the average amount of money a YouTuber can make is around $10 per 1,000 views on a monetized channel, meaning that the channel can make money. For PewDiePie, the current highest subscribed YouTuber at 110 million subscribers, he makes approximately $5 million per month. It's difficult to pin down an accurate number of, you of a YouTuber's income, however, since there are various factors that determine how much money is given. For example, how well the video is received by the audience, how much money YouTube is willing to provide, and so on. So a career on YouTube sounds simple, right? You can just post videos from home and then sit back as a YouTube video makes money. Well, it's a lot more complicated than that. We've gone over the general idea of how YouTubers earn money, but what does it take to actually start making that money consistently? Well, I said earlier that careers like streaming and becoming a YouTuber were easy, but it's really the opposite. A better word to describe it would be accessible. Anyone with access to the internet and a camera can post onto YouTube and get some views. But just posting something onto the website will never guarantee success. There's a multitude of factors that determine someone's success as a YouTuber, with the most important factors being what I'll call the three Ps. Presentation, passion, and personality. Now, to continue, first is presentation. By presentation, I mean what kind of content you are presenting and how you are doing so. One common issue with beginning YouTubers is deciding what content to release. But that's the thing, you can put almost anything on YouTube, as long as it's legal of course and follows YouTube's rules, but if you have any hobbies or passions, you can use those hobbies as a starting point for videos. For example, coders and engineers can be successful YouTubers. People like Mark Rober, a former NASA engineer who uses his engineering skills to make machines that are both entertaining and sometimes useful, such as a fake package that bombs porch pirates with glitter. This guy took a package from my porch, and now he's about to open it in his car, but what he doesn't know is this is a custom-built bait package that is recording him on four different cameras, and it's about to unleash a pound of the world's finest glitter, along with some other surprises. <laughs> Another is Michael Reeves, a self-taught coder and engineer who also creates machines, but for more silly purposes, like a robot dog that pees beer. No way. <laughs> no, wait. What? Where is it? Oh, Michael. Look, a steamy cup of beer. 
Both of them are incredibly successful, possessing millions of subscribers and being some of the most popular YouTubers on the platform. Now, of course, you don't have to be some sort of engineer to be successful. Whatever hobby you may have can be molded into an interesting piece of content that you can upload. For example, James Charles, a makeup artist, has over 25 million subscribers. Jaden Animations, a narrative animator, has over 10 million subscribers. And Marquez Brownlee, a tech reviewer, has over 13 million subscribers. You can implement any sort of hobby into YouTube, and that's the key to success. Now, you don't necessarily have to be good at whatever you're doing in order to become successful. Of course, being skilled will help a lot. So if you find yourself to be a little bit under underskilled in what you're doing, take the time to practice and improve. But in the long run, as long as what you're presenting is interesting and enjoyable for both you and your audience, you'll be on the right track. And overall, that's the rule of thumb for making and releasing content on YouTube. You want to present content that you enjoy making and content that you yourself would like to watch. You don't want to upload content that you don't enjoy making. That's just not a good long-term mindset if you're willing to consistently release more and more content because you'll eventually tire out and then you'll lose motivation. This brings us to the next potentially most important factor that is essential to consider when pursuing YouTube, passion. Passion is essentially what drives you to post onto YouTube in the first place. If you're considering pursuing the life of a YouTuber or a content creator or any sort of career really, you need to have the motivation and desire to actually pursue it in the first place. If you're just hopping on the bandwagon of people becoming YouTubers for the sake of becoming a YouTuber to try and become famous or trying to find an easy way to make money, it's a recipe for disaster and wasted time. You have to be willing to put in some effort to produce something that makes you proud and also provides a fun experience for others. In regard to equipment, all you really need is a camera and a computer, but if you really want to grow as a YouTuber, you'll have to put in the extra effort instead of just filming something and posting the raw footage. Whether it's adding in visual effects, or animating a scene, or practicing to get better at a game, or organizing a skit, putting in the effort to make your content look nice can go a long way to improving your YouTube content. Again, referring back to content, make sure you produce something you enjoy making. If you produce something that you yourself enjoy, then it's a win-win for you and your audience. Your audience is most likely there because they enjoy what you're doing. And since you also enjoy what you're doing, everyone's happy. Now, if you're simply doing YouTube as a fun activity on the side, you don't necessarily need all that passion to do so. But for people who wish to actually gain a larger audience and manifest some sort of success, you'll need a motivation for it. Which is why it's incredibly important to take note of what you are presenting. In the long run, you want to keep uploading stuff that you enjoy creating. That's what makes a YouTuber happy and successful. Happy can, having an audience that likes you for who you are. Now, getting into YouTube also leads to another risk, burnout. Many people place really high expectations and really short deadlines on themselves to produce more and more videos until their audience is satisfied, such as driving yourself to upload something daily. But that type of rush can easily wear a person out, leading to physical and mental health decline and also a decline in quality for your content. You're not going to gain 1 million subscribers overnight. Gaining a stable fan base is a long process that requires some effort and patience. Set small goals for yourself. Maybe reach 500 subscribers within two months or so. Keeping your expectations small and manageable will lead to far better results. And when you're making content, take breaks. Your audience can wait. Keeping track of your passion and motivation is important to consider when producing your content. Calling back to successful YouTubers we just discussed, such as Mark Rober and Marquez Brownlee, all of them love what they're doing. But they didn't just become successful from making content and doing stuff that they enjoy. A lot of their success came from who they are as a person. Which brings us to the final P, personality. Personality is an essential factor to consider when first pursuing the life of a YouTuber. If you don't have a likable or entertaining personality, there's almost no chance for you to succeed on YouTube. People tend to want to watch someone that can make them happy and entertained. If people don't like how you act on your video, then they aren't going to watch for very long. Now, as a result, some people tend to over-exaggerate with their personalities and try and appeal to their audiences, which is fine at first, but it's not exactly sustainable. Similarly to the importance of avoiding burnout on YouTube, it's difficult and tiring to maintain an over-exaggerated personality on YouTube and can become incredibly stressful. Adding in a bit of energy and excitement into your personality is perfectly fine, but overdoing it can become a problem. But what if your type of content doesn't involve you at all? Maybe you don't show your face or talk at all in your content, so personality doesn't really apply. Content like gameplay with no voiceover, lyricless music production, musical animatics, and other content like that all involve very little personality or none at all. And that's where the content portion of your YouTube comes in. Maybe some of your personality can show itself through your content, or you're simply making content that's entertaining without requiring any actions from you directly on screen. 
So make sure that what you're uploading is something that you're happy with creating and entertaining to those who ever watch it. So that's essentially everything to know about YouTubing. I've gone over the basics of what it takes to become a YouTuber and how it can become a career, but there's one more issue. Should you even become a YouTuber in the first place? For the entirety of this speech, I've discussed YouTube as if it was a naturally good, solid option for careers. But that's not the case. To answer the question of whether or not you should become a YouTuber, the short answer is, if you have a solid idea and high motivation, try it out, but don't go all in. You should never pour in every single bit of your effort into starting out as a YouTuber, no matter how confident you may feel. For people just starting out, keep it at a level of interest and effort as you would a hobby. YouTube is very unpredictable and success is never guaranteed, so take it slow, take it one step at a time, and slowly build up the type of content that you can enjoy making and can maintain without tiring yourself out. So what about parents who have children that want to try and get involved in the YouTube world? Many parents have a very negative view of the website because it seems like a very big distraction for kids for more important things like school. To that I say, again, if they're old enough, let your child try it out. If they're passionate and have an idea of what they want to share, then it's okay. Maybe post a few videos of something that they enjoy doing as long as they're old and mature enough. I'd say around the age of 14. YouTube also has benefits just from uploading videos alone. It helps encourage increased productivity and time management through the production of their videos. Personally, YouTube helped me find a passion in video editing. Doing so may also help them find a new part of their personality and grow as a person, but it's important to upload when you're at a more mature age. Going onto YouTube at a young age or going in blindly with little to no knowledge can be very risky. The internet is a place filled with all types of people, including those who live to bring others down. You may receive negative comments and feedback, which may sometimes be uncalled for and very harmful. In that case, try your best to ignore it and focus on doing what makes you happy as long as it isn't harmful to other people. Maybe even use some of the negative feedback to adjust what you're doing and improve. Again, YouTube should stay as a hobby at first. Turning it into a career is only practical if you can afford the risk, have the time for it, and already have a stable fan base and good level of income. Otherwise, keep it fun and slow for yourself. For future generations, YouTube as a hobby and a career is only going to keep expanding farther and farther in popularity. As technology continues to grow more advanced and accessible, more people will be tempted to explore the world of being a YouTuber. And personally, I think that's amazing. Having an accessible way to express your own passions and interests to others easily is amazing. So maybe you yourself can try finding something that you enjoy doing and makes you happy and try sharing it through a YouTube video. There are no limits to what you can upload. You can draw, sing, game, teach, code, and even do crazy stuff like scuba diving or skydiving, no matter what it is, there is an audience out there for you. Thank you.